Hello, people of the Earth, and welcome to QuickSave TV. As you can see, and here, and there, oh my goodness, another, another boob, excuse me. I am almost an official Blizzard representative. For all the advertisements I make for them, they should actually pay me. You heard that, Blizzard? Yes, I want to be on your payroll. <laughs> Since it coincides that you make good games and I have nothing to criticize so far, well, I will, not that it's the question, it's just that, the other reason why I show you this shirt is because this t-shirt is from Jinx, as you might or might not know, and I'm probably the only, the only, the only person in Greece who has this shirt. Nobody else does, and I feel really, really big time nerd. Anyway, today I'm going to tell you what happened in patch 102A which is, in essence, patch 1029858. These are small changes, not super important, but there have been a lot of controversy and discussion about the decreasing loot. And I would just like to voice my opinion about the topic in order to maybe calm down some of you guys or just just bring additional insight to, to you know, to help you evaluate the situation. Not that you can't, but, you know, you know it never hurts to have additional opinion in the discussion. Now... We have general changes. Tool tips for the following classes, ab class abilities have been updated to reflect changes made in patch 102 and previous hotfixes. We have Demon Hunter, Smoke Screen, and Skill Rune Lingering Fog changed. Monk, Fists of Thunder, Skill Rune Quickening, Mantra of Healing, Skill Rune Boon of Inspiration, and for Wizard, Energy Armor, Skill Rune Force Armor. There's nothing to say about it, they just updated it, so it, co so it matches with what they actually have, you know, what they have changed, which is not, you know, not a big deal. Now, it will be easier for you to understand that they actually changed it, for people who don't follow patches. Now, Nigel Cutthroat has recently fallen on a hard time and will now drop lower quality items and w once slain. I just don't understand this thing. Has recently fallen on hard times. I will just, you know, I will just follow up to the now drop lower quality items once slain, which is logical. Okay, fine. Now he will drop lower quality items. Then we have Golden Quest experience rewards for playing, replaying Heart of Sin. Get a Soul of Asmadan has been reduced. And gold and Golden Quest experience rewards for playing, replaying Heart of Sin, Go to the Keep has been removed. Have been removed. Now, first, Heart of Sin, Go to the Keep was not a difficult quest as such. It's very close as you, if you restart this quest from the main menu, it's very easy to reach, not a big deal, and having to get rewards for that as experience on gold is not necessarily the most rational thing to have, okay, that's what I think. Then, golden quest experience rewards for playing Heart of Sin, get the Soul of Asman, I mean, excuse me, were these rewards so huge that you, you know, cannot survive without them, so people are rage about that on forums, and... I really don't understand that, because technically, when you reach, and even when you don't reach, like right now at level 60, yeah, just yesterday I finished speedrunning the game, I finished Act 2 and Act 3, speedrunning them, to, in order to get the wolf sigil, which I really like, I've got so many yellow drops on normal, and so many, so much gold, you know, dropping, as if it was, as if it was my difficulty, as if it was, as if it was hell. Okay, now on Inferno I expect even more gold. Plus, with the Nephilim Valor system, it makes it even e easier to farm gold. And I don't understand what's the big deal. You get lower reward for quest for replaying the quest. I mean, what what is the problem? On Inferno you would not get items for that. You would just get some additional gold. But this gold you already farm anyway. So. And the plus, the problem with that, if you need my opinion, with specifically third act, is because it's slightly smaller than other acts. It's so bunched up together that, for instance, from previous till last boss, pro from Sidea and until Asmodan, it's such a small distance, right, that you don't actually feel this distance, which is ridiculous. It's, it's not supposed to be like this. It doesn't make any sense. Now... You know, it, that's just my opinion. I just wanted to voice it there because I don't understand what you're raging about. They didn't decru decrease drops or gold drops across the board. They decreased the rewards for this specific two quests and an enemy, Nigel Cutthroat. What's the problem? How many times did you actually fight Nigel Cutthroat? I don't fight him all that often. I don't remember the name. Maybe once I fought him. Big freaking deal, I mean, seriously. <laughs> so actually, this is patch notes in my opinion. I I am sorry if I hurt somebody's feelings. I just, that's how I feel, you know. I don't think it's a, such an important change that you have to be sad about it because technically your gameplay will not be affected all that much. 
Anyway, have a greatest day. Stay tuned for more content from me, Quick Safe TV, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video and my commentary. If you did, go ahead and like the video and stay tuned for more content. Have a greatest day and bye bye. Let's move to Dexterity. Dexterity is a primary attribute for demon hunters and monks. Why? Because they're agile bastards. Then we see the dragon diving under under goddamn water, under the breaking the ice and diving inside. But I do wonder why is this dragon here?